Hello and uh, welcome back. Another edition of David Ardmore Collector. Um, as a result of um, Flat Eric distraught at getting mixed up between the rickshaw driver and the Sangoma, um, because he is put off by the magnificent attire worn by the Zulu rickshaw driver. But what he's decided he wants me to do now is to uh, offer you a piece of um, Ardmore pottery that will compete with these guys for colour and for design. So I've just put this back up here because I want you to just have a quick look at the colours and the geometric uh, designs that are used both on the, the gentleman's attire and decoration around his headdress and around the side of the rickshaw. And again, if I take that away, you can see the, um, the ge geometric designs on the Sangoma bowl. Now, what I've got to show you now is... Is this Flat Eric is busy with 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 his lady friend Flossie over here, and they'll be looking over that, looking after that. And I want to show you this. Uh, to call it magnificent would be a bit of an understatement. As you can see from it, if you look at the designs in here, they reflect what you saw on the Sangoma's bowl, the geometric designs, the colours, and also what was sort of seen on the um, uh, on the decoration around the rickshaw. Okay, now this is actually a teapot. <laughs> as you can see here, we have the teapot spout. And as you can see, it, it's just, these are reflecting uh, raised, almost like the hairs and the, the mane on the back of the, uh, the zebra itself. It's, uh, what can I tell you about it? All right. The modeler, um, and it was made in 2011, is Victor Shabalala. I don't actually have any more information about it, but I mean, just look at these zebras here and the, um, the modeling that has gone into that. It really is superb. It was painted by Rosemary Mazibuko, and she started working for Arbor way back in the 96, alongside the, uh, the Nene sisters, Zinli, Jambu, and Winnie Nene. And uh, a lot of her work, Rosemary's work, has been exhibited in many places around the world. The dimensions are, well, it's about nine and a half inches high, and it's about eight inches square around the bottom, about eight inches square. And uh, it, it really is, it's actually quite funny because they pay particular attention to the zebra's naughty bits. So I, I can actually tell you that three of them are male and two of them are female. And uh, painted, they seem to think that uh, painting them in bright pink might be a good way of uh, helping us to decide <laughs> who's who on it. A, a wonderful piece of work. And I'll just take this off the top here to show you. This is the lid. The lid itself is a small work of art. And uh, again, uh, it's, a, it's a lady zebra who's, there we are, look at that. Beautifully made, nicely painted. All the designs typical of what you would see in Zulu decoration. You can see around here the horses, the tails being nibbled on here. This here is actually the handle for the um, for the teapot. The others are just the stands, and you can see their tails going up the side. This is the tail going up here, either side. And I will just show you what's on the bottom. Hang on a second. Where we go? All of the normal identification details on the base. A particular favourite of mine because I, I actually located it at an auction in Germany and it was about the fourth or fifth piece, uh, piece that I'd actually purchased. So it was my first really uh, quite expensive item that I purchased for my collection. And the collection now is getting up towards just around about 60 pieces. And I think today we're probably about a third of the way through uh, me showing you them all. So there's more punishment to come. However, 
if you if you're watching this on YouTube, please you know look down at the bottom right hand side of the screen. There's a little red box with a with a triangle in it. If you click on that, that'll uh, make it that you'll be subscribing, and you could always follow me if you're looking on Instagram. And uh, that's all I'm going to say about this fellow today. It's a wonderful piece. Um, the decoration, the work that has gone into it is uh, truly magnificent. And it all goes back to what uh, we showed you with the Sangoma bowl and the traditional methods of decoration. So there we are. Something next time I'm looking to go back and show you some more, a, a, a water jug that uh, I have. And I'll, that'll be the next one in the, a week or so. So thanks a lot. Bye.